What's going on everybody? Tom here with Keto Lifestyle and it's with great pride today that I bring you a keto noodle recipe. No, I'm not talking about zucchini noodles. I'm not talking about konjac noodles. I'm talking real legitimate pasta. Like you can see with this fettuccine alfredo that I made right here. I'm going to throw this up on the screen, but hang tight till the end for a taste testing. This is going to be awesome, but I'm going to show you guys how to make it. The first thing you're going to want to do is clean off your countertop. We are going to be pouring everything directly on the counter, so make sure it's nice and clean. Once that's done, add one cup of finely ground almond flour to your countertop. To that pile of almond flour, we're going to add two teaspoons of xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is a keto thickening agent and it's going to help the pasta actually achieve the consistency we want without it falling apart. Next up is psyllium husk powder. Now psyllium husk powder is what's going to give the dough that kind of stretchy elasticity that we need for pasta. Now the measurement for that is going to be two tablespoons plus a half a teaspoon. The reason for that extra half a teaspoon is I found that at two tablespoons it still falls apart just a little bit too easily and if I go with an extra teaspoon it becomes a little too thick. Now you will have to play with this a little bit depending on how large your eggs are because they all differ. And the last dry ingredient going into this is one half teaspoon of salt. Now I'm just using table salt because I have a whole box of it. Feel free to use whatever type of salt you feel like using today. Once all your dry ingredients are in a pile on the counter, use a fork to mix it and break up all clumps. Now, the clumps are really bad, but so is not having it thoroughly mixed because you need that xanthan gum and psyllium husk powder to be evenly distributed. If you get a pocket that doesn't have either of those ingredients, what's gonna happen is your pasta is going to have holes in it and fall apart. Once it's well combined, create a well in the middle to which we are gonna add two large eggs. Now it is time to mix. What I like to do is take a fork and whisk the eggs in the center of the well initially and slowly bring in more flour from the outside of the well. At some point the dough will become too thick to continue mixing with a fork. At that point I like to cut over using my hands. You will notice at first the dough does not like to stick together very well but the more you knead it it will continue to stick together. I also like to kind of pat the dough around to pick up any loose pieces of flour or dough chunks that I've missed. Once you're convinced that the egg is sufficiently mixed in, just make a ball out of it and set it on the counter for about two minutes just to allow the psyllium husk powder to absorb some moisture. You'll see here that I'm cutting the dough ball into quarters. This is because I do not have a pasta machine so I'm going to be rolling it by hand. My rolling pin isn't that large and neither are my sheets of parchment paper, so this is the most efficient way that I can do it. Believe me, if you have a pasta machine, you really are going to want to use it, but since I don't, I'm going to make do with what I have. As to not bore you with minutes of me rolling pasta dough, I'm going to go ahead and skip forward here. After my dough is reached between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch, I like to kind of trim off the edges to make it more square. You don't have to if you don't mind uneven looking pasta, but this is the internet and everything has to look pretty. And once again, since I don't have a pasta maker, I'm just using a pizza cutter to cut thin strips of noodles. They are going to look like fettuccine noodles and that's perfectly okay to me. I don't really care what shape my noodles are. If you have a special machine to make spaghetti noodles or whatever, feel free to use it. But honestly, this is just the easiest thing that I can do. Once I've gotten as many noodles as I think I can out of a sheet, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of psyllium husk powder so they don't stick together. Once I'm completely done, I'm going to add the whole pile of noodles to a pot of boiling water for one to two minutes, and then strain all the water out. Don't let it sit in there too long or your pasta can stick together. And now that you guys have seen how to make it, it is time for the taste test. Now what I have right here is the noodles that we just made, and then I took the keto alfredo sauce recipe that I made in the video that I'm going to put in the card right now. Now, fair warning, it's an old video of mine, and I was just getting my feet wet on YouTube, and it's kind of cringy, but the recipe is still really good. So I took that sauce, made it with these noodles, and now it is time to taste it. So as you guys can see, we have some noodles, we have some legit length to these. I'm going to go and taste it. That is fantastic, guys. And if you're kind of wanting a good comparison, it is a softer noodle. Like if you've ever had fresh pasta, it kind of reminds me of that. It's not going to be that kind of bite, like al dente, that you'll get from dried pasta, but it tastes like fresh pasta. The sauce is killer and is like the perfect substitute. Also, the macros in this are amazing. Check it out if you guys have not. The recipe is going to be down below. Now, 
without anything else, guys, I'm going to close with the video. If you liked the video, leave it a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment sections. And if you have not subscribed yet, do me a huge favor. Subscribe to my channel. Helps me out a lot and encourages me to make more videos like this. And since this is so awesome, you're going to want to share this to all your friends, right? Do that for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.